When it comes to development, this is why mold is a big issue. This is called a urinary organic acid test. And this child has high amounts of what's called aspergillus mold, which is common house mold, can be in food as well. What that actually creates is a mitochondrial dysfunction in a lot of kids. And that's what you're seeing here. All these levels for the Krebs cycle in the mitochondrial system are actually decreased. That means this child isn't able to efficiently produce energy. Our brain needs three things to develop. It needs stimulation, it needs ATP or energy, and it needs oxygen. And what we find in so many cases is when kids have a mold toxicity is they cannot produce energy efficiently or their mitochondria can't function well. So what do we do for this? We work on put on binders. We help change their lifestyle, their diet to help stop eating that mold. Number one. Number two, we focus on getting their mitochondria to function more efficiently because your immune system needs mitochondria to function well. Your brain needs mitochondria to function well. Your frontal lobes need mitochondria so that way you can pay attention. So we focus on the mitochondria and lasers is one of the best ways or low level light therapy is one of the best ways to increase mitochondrial activity in the body, along with dietary stuff, supplemental stuff we can do to increase this mitochondrial function. And what happens is when we increase that mitochondrial function, the brain starts developing more efficiently again, things rehab much quicker. So if you're wondering, hey, why does my kid have all these primitive reflexes or why do they have these balance issues or why are they not developing? Mold could simply be a reason why. So look around your house, see if you've had any water damage, that could be playing into your child's difficulty with development. And that's why.